Once again, to try and figure out why things aren't working, I reduced everything down to the smallest number of polygons, in this case just three, a wall, a floor, and a door. If I move over to here, you can see that the door pops through the wall. So I'm going to go into inspect mode to try and figure out what's going on. Um, I wrote down in notepad which polygon has which PID, so that way I can keep track of what's happening. And I eventually, you know, I realize what's going wrong is happening in the plane test part of the code. So to explain what plane test does again, it returns a different response depending on where the vertices of a polygon are in comparison to the player and the plane of another polygon. Say we're comparing the wall to the plane of the floor, meaning we're looking at the four corners of the wall here and checking to see if they're all on the same side of the plane of the floor as our camera. If the wall was way up here, we can clearly see that all four points lie above the plane, and since we're above the plane too, the plane test would return a 1. If the wall was instead underneath the floor entirely, then all four points are on the opposite side of the floor as the player, so we'd get a negative 1 from the plane test. If the polygons cross each other, whether through an intersection or even if the wall is off to the side, our test is inconclusive and the plane test returns a zero. Lastly, we get back a negative two if both polygons lie on the same plane. This matters because there's a problem happening when two polygons meet on an edge. It's ambiguous as to whether the wall is in front of the floor or the floor is in front of the wall. You could imagine this ambiguity would be resolved if either of the polygons were extended. If we extend the wall downward, then it becomes clear that the floor is closest, then the wall, then the door. But if we extend the floor outward, then it's clear that the wall is closest, then the door, then the floor. We can't extend both, of course, because then the polygons would intersect, in which case you'd have to split the polygon in two to make things work properly which I've decided is annoying, so I don't feel like doing that unless it becomes apparent that I have to. Anyway, we're getting a conflict here because the plane test is coming out differently between the floor and the wall and the floor and the door. I'm moving this other plane test up in the code so that you can tell what's happening in the debug mode much more easily. So when we look at it here, we're comparing PID 0, the floor, to PID 1, the wall. The first plane test gives us back a 1, meaning it thinks the wall is closer, but the second plane test, which just switches which polygon we're comparing the vertices to and which one is the plane, also comes back a 1, meaning it thinks the floor is closer. They can't both be true, so I need to change my plane test code to fix this. I'm going to do this by basically smashing the two parts of the plane test code together and doing all the comparisons at one time. Simply put, if both tests give us the same value, whether it be a 1 or a negative 1 or even negative 2, then what we've determined is that the order of these polygons don't matter, so just move on to checking the next polygon. Except in the case where both are 0, in which case more tests are needed. Then I just combine these other conditionals with an OR. With that, I can check to see if things are fixed, and... It looks like it's working. The door no longer clips through, even when I move back and forth. Let me just comment back in some of all the other walls now. So, wow, I think this might actually work for real this time now. I'm not seeing any problems. Nothing's bleeding through the walls. Even when I go from a distance and... Oh. Oh, wait. Ugh. Looks like the door handle's popping in and out. I mean, that's annoying, but I'm, I'm just going to ignore that because it seems to be working otherwise. Let me just uh, code in something new real quick. So I decided to make a function to generate a table and to generate a chair just based on the position and shape inputs that you give into it. Then I generated those in the draw house function. Anyway, you can see here what that looks like, and everything seems to still be working fine. The table and chairs are being displayed as I coded them, and now the interior of the house isn't so empty anymore. I can move far away, and nothing appears to be clipping through or anything, so I feel like I can declare this to be working, hopefully. I mean, I don't want to play with this too long, or else I'll probably find some graphical error that makes me realize the whole thing is hopelessly broken maybe next video I'll actually be able to do something with this 3D stuff that isn't basic polygon rendering.